Welcome everyone to San Antonio, Texas, and not exactly the start Texas Tech was looking to have to its preparations for the Alamo Bowl. Head coach Mike Leach suspended by the university for the game pending an investigation into the alleged treatment of a player after an injury. We're alongside of me, Don Williams, beat writer for Texas Tech, and Don, like, just like I said, not the start Texas Tech wanted. No, because uh, going for this entire month, it seemed like the team that had all the distraction obviously was going to be Michigan State, which had four. They traveled down here on Sunday, and there were 14 players not with Michigan State because of uh, a couple of them dismissals, others because of suspension because of their incident at the uh, fight at a dormitory back on November 22nd. That's been hanging over their heads all this time. And now today the bombshell dropped that uh, Mike Leach suspended by, again, by the university. And so Mike Leach uh, won't be coaching the Red Raiders on Saturday night, evidently. And right now we're at Texas Tech practice. They're practicing back behind us and Ruffin McNeil, Texas Tech's defensive coordinator, leading the Red Raiders through drills. And at this point concerning Leach, what do we know, Don? Uh, well, we know that he was, uh, he obviously traveled to San Antonio today because he was on uh, the flight that you and I were on right. from, uh, from uh, Lubbock to uh, Love Field in Dallas and then on to uh, San Antonio. And then it was uh, just a short time after that that the university sent out the statement that, this, that the decision had been made to suspend him uh, from all of his head coaching duties. And so Ruffin McNeil now appointed as the interim head coach and uh, the offense will be in the hands of um, I, I'm guessing kind of a committee of the whole, uh, people like uh, Lincoln Riley, uh, the inside right. receivers coach, Dennis Simmons, wide receivers coach, Matt Moore, offensive line coach, and Sonny Cumbie, of course, who does a lot of work with the quarterbacks. And right now, Don, obviously there's some speculation out there, a lot of rumors going around, a lot of things that may not be quite confirmed yet, but we, what do we know in terms of the exact nature of this alleged offense? Uh, just that well, a player's parent has uh, said that a player was uh, mistreated uh, in the wake of an injury uh, by Coach Leach. And the university said in this statement said it takes all such matters seriously. And so uh, Leach's suspension is uh, pending, I guess, the, the result of an internal investigation. They did say that uh, the Chancellor, Kent Hance, the President, Guy Bailey, and uh, the top two individuals on the Board of Regents, uh, Larry Anders and Jerry Turner, uh, the suspension was made in consultation with all of those uh, individuals. Okay, and like I said, Texas Tech going to wrap up practice in a minute. We hope to hear from the Red Raiders, and when and if we do, we'll have that on the end of this video. Well, I think you can judge. You know, we we're, we have a team of guys who have been through adversity uh, most of the year. You know, we've had some things happen to us that most teams, uh, I'm sure, have gone through, but we've had some things that uh, most teams would have folded. So this team has been strong from the core. Uh, it was strong today. We had a very up tempo practice. Focus was there, and uh, I was pleased with the uh, I was pleased with the effort and the mentality of the kids. Uh, well, Mike's my friend, and uh, we've been friends for a long time. And I don't think it's uh, right now is the right time for me to go into that. But if you can appreciate that from me, uh, uh, I know that you know, the things are happening, and uh, I was named interim coach for this game, and uh, I appreciate that. And uh, I'm sure to get worked out. But right now. My, folk, my total focus is on Michigan State. The allegations, the allegations out there surround player safety. Um, can you just comment on that? I mean, was, was a player ever in jeopardy? I mean, I don't. Like I said, I'd rather just wait on that kind of stuff. But I, I mean, I, 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 I don't want to get involved in that. You know, and I let it happen. Let coach handle that, and, and uh, folks will love to handle that. Did you get to talk to Mike today? Uh, yeah, I just touched base with him a little bit. He said, just keep it going, keep practice going, and. and uh, Get ready for uh, a great week of practice. Coach, well, you know, the, the biggest thing with, with uh, the players, and I'm an emotional guy anyway. You know, I get fired up. Y'all, I might tackle one of you guys right now. <laughs> you know, uh, I just, and, you know, Don, Don, won't, but Don knows I am. I, I get uh, emotional when it comes to family, you know, and, and this is a family. And uh, so, you know, I'm, a, I'm an emotional guy anyway. But, uh, I, I'm, I'm very uh, uh, close with our players and with our staff and, and, uh, I was, I was very proud of the professionalism of our staff. In the meantime, please stay tuned to LubbockOnline.com and RedRaiders.com for full coverage of Mike Leach's suspension. For the Lubbock Avalanche Journal and Don Williams, I'm Zach Long.